Happy Sunday morning, family. I want y'all to come with us this Sunday as we start our day. The day that the Lord has made, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. And I'm going to let you all be a part of our Sunday today. All right? So hold your horses. Blessings to each of you as you're coming in on this soul-searching Sunday morning. We give God praise for another day's journey. We thank him for you all this morning. As my pastor loves to say, uh, this is another day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Find you some joy today. Amen. Find you some joy today. And all you got to do is... Think on the goodness of the Lord, and I promise you, you can find you some joy. How many know he's been good to us? I want to encourage your hearts this morning. Over the weekend, I went to the movies to see the, the new movie that's out, The Forge. Now, about discipleship, and I try to do that every morning that we come on here, amen. I try to uh, encourage everybody, amen, especially uh, those that I know that are not saved. I try to encourage them. Uh, to come learn about a man named Jesus Christ. The healing virtue of God. Hallelujah. Healing is the children's bread. Thank you, God. Healing is our portion this morning. I thank you. Honey, when five get on you, you get to move it. Hallelujah. You got to tell somebody about our risen Savior. Amen. I love the man. I love you all so much. I'm going to let you go and start your day, and I'm going to start mine. Amen. We give God praise for each and every one of you. Go today in the peace, the love, and the grace of God. And if it's the Lord's will, I see you all bright and early in the morning. Praise the Lord. And that is pausing for prayer. Okay, guys, we're going to get out of here. Eric, done all. He, he always waiting on me and Chris in the car but we are headed to church this is my what they said my fit uh -huh. for the day okay all right so let me get all of our belongings and let's head to church okay this is chris we getting ready to head out this is chris you look cute chanel thank you Oh, you look so cute. Mr. Eric is waiting on us. Yeah, he is. <laughs> hey, you. Sunday. Happy Sunday. How are you? I'm well. You ready to go serve the Lord? This is our Sunday school teacher, guys. So we're getting ready to head to church. guys we're early us and pastor and pastor's wife we're here we you we try to get here uh sometimes 30 minutes before church i mean before sunday school it's sunday school now but we try to get here about 30 minutes before sunday school sometimes 15 20 minutes but let's see if this door is open yep so this is the entrance way to the church. There's your bathrooms. The sign booth. And that's our pastor. Good morning. Good morning, pastor. How you doing this morning? <laughs> Tell you too, good morning. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the sanctuary, guys. And we're going to get ready to have Sunday school. Our Sunday school starts at 10 o'clock. And uh, Pastor Eric, he does Sunday school. God's presence. In our lesson, we're going to be coming from the book of Psalms, 
Today we're going to be coming from book, um, Psalms 91, 1 through 16. Uh, let me start by the introduction of my study. It says, people often talk about how hectic and chaotic the world is today. Yet, the struggle of life are nothing, are nothing new. They have always left people feeling overwhelmed and in need of a place for refuge. All right, this is another one for you, because it's not for us to handle. Now, we just got to make sure that we're in the right state of being. There is no greater security than to dwell in the presence of the Almighty God. We are called to trust and rest in Him. Jesus offers everyone the opportunity to find rest and comfort in Him. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Ministry in action. Pray for the peace of God for anyone who is facing a difficult situation and would like to have prayer. All right. People are coming in slowly this morning. They're, they're coming in slowly but surely. I mean, we have a large sanctuary, but not a real large membership yet. Time is coming, and people are going to come to the church dressed and believe. But uh, they're coming in. They're back there reminiscing and talking right now. But they're coming in. We're going to get ready for our praise team. Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Truly, it's a blessing to be in the house of worship one more time. Amen. Yeah. I, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. We're glad to be in the house of worship. Let's give God praise on today. Hallelujah. Truly, he is worthy on today. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Hallelujah. God. We just thank you for another day you've given us. Give your name all the glory and the praise that is due to you, God. You let us make it through another week on today. Yes, thank you, God. Hallelujah. We need you like never before, yes. God. We are living in your end time, God. We want you to just keep us, God, like all you Jesus. can, God. And all these things we ask to your son, Jesus. Jesus Amen. 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 Oh, here. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. This blood is running warm through my back. Yeah. This week we're going to look at David. Amen. Not David as king, but David as a little shepherd boy. Amen. I'm not going to deal too much. We, 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 know, we know the story pretty much of David and Goliath. I'm not going to deal too much with Goliath or the enemy, but I want to encourage us. Amen. Because as we see, we all have giants to battle. How many agree with that? Amen. 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 All of us have giants. Amen. Sometimes a, a bill could be a giant. Mm -hmm. Your finances can be a giant. Your marriage can be a giant. Amen. Relationships can be a giant. Situations and circumstances. Amen. Can be a giant in your life. Amen. Our health. Amen. It can be a giant in our life. What life lessons can we learn from this text that can teach us how to handle and fight these giants? Amen. We have to realize that our courage to fight these battles has to be in God's strength. Amen. Amen. Because that's what the enemy tries to do. The first thing he tries to do is to intimidate you. Amen. That's why you'll have churches talking about to you and church angling. You and then even those with step churches, no, nah, you ain't none of my mama, you ain't none of my dad. And then he'll use the, 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 the your wife that they start talking all kind of like Joe's wife talking crazy. He'll use the husband to start saying all kind of crazy things. You know, especially when 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 uh one may not be as close to God as the other, one is saved and one is not. And he would begin to start to use one uh, that's not saved to try to talk to someone that's saved to try to bring them down because if he could get you down off of your place of exaltation, then he can bring you down to his level and he can he can level the playing field. Amen. Amen. 
And we're going to see why David exhibited this boldness. He gives you confidence. Why? Because you know your God. Mm -hmm. And you know, that, you know the enemy can't do anything because he's subject to the power of God. Oh my goodness. You see what building a relationship with God does? It gives you that confidence. When the world is looking at you and say, oh, you can't nobody live perfect. You can't do this and you can't. No, you trust in God. You won't slide. Hmm. You might make a mistake and fall down, but guess what? You will get right back up and you'll keep on moving forward. Goliath saw how everybody else was fear and trembling, but here's a little young boy that got some kind of confidence. Mm -hmm. And this is what David says to him. Out of all the big talking and the threatening words that Goliath threw at David, David said, this day, hmm. look at what he said, will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand. <laughs> uh, hey, they all full. We're full. We hey. just we just come to end the video. We want to say thank y'all for um spending the day with us. Uh, just a little something we did today, um, Sunday. Anybody got any closing remarks? Happy Sunday. Happy Whenever Sunday. you watching this, whatever day you're going to watch. Until the next time, <laughs> let the journey continue. <laughs> bye, bye, guys. Bye. Full and sleepy. Huh?